Destiny has activities for every mood. It's got a lot of different ways to enjoy the action. Strike's focus is on cooperative gameplay. So it takes the primary combat unit in Destiny, the fire team, which is three guardians, you and two of your trusted friends, puts you in orbit around your favorite destination and sends you down to fight through wave after wave of enemies, culminating in an epic boss battle, where if you can win, it will shower you with rewards that you can use to upgrade your guardian and take that same player across many different modes of play. You are in this living universe, you're with other guardians, and you're part of this other larger tale, this tale of humanity taking back the solar system, reclaiming its, its golden age. And because of that, we wanted to make sure that all of the activities, all the fun stuff that we've been able to pack in here, didn't feel like it was four or five different games that you played on, on one disc, that it was part of this larger place. We're able to do that inside of the world, so you can have your story missions taking place in this, you can have your strike missions taking place in this space, your patrols taking place here, and it just like every time you come back, there's like a little new area that you find. I still run into places where I'm like, I didn't even know this was here. You know, you come around the corner and go through a cave and find some really high level enemies, and you're like, what in the world? When did they put this thing in here? You know, so it's this really cool sense of discovery. Well, we're finally going to release Destiny to the world September 9th, 2014. Can't come fast enough. Between now and then, there will be a lot of great moments, though. We're going to welcome people to get hands on the competitive multiplayer mode of our game for the first time at E3. And then this summer, we're looking forward to anybody who wants to be a guardian of the last safe city to take their first steps into the world of Destiny in the beta. Obviously, our beta will be a big moment for us to bring a lot of these activities to bear for players give them a sense of what it's like to create a character, you know, move through the world, what is it like to get your first assault rifle, get your first hand cannon, make the choice between how you upgrade and tweak it, what does it mean for you in competitive multiplayer, what does it mean for you in a strike, so we're not really detailing out exactly what we're doing for beta, but we absolutely want it to be a huge slice of content. There's a lot that remains to be talked about as it comes to the beta, but yeah, like we want millions of people to come and, and play the beta and get a first taste of that experience. And, and along the way, it'll be great for our, our data center to get uh, hammered on so we can make sure that we're ready for day one.